Captain, but we want to stay on the matter of South Sudan for a moment and speak to Stephen Parkwall, who is a member of the negotiating team, the SPLM negotiating team that is in Addis, and he joins us from our city center studios. Stephen, thank you for joining us tonight. Would just like your quick comment on that signing today by President Salva Kiir. He has stated he has reservations and goes on to add that he does not think the deal would last. What is your reaction to that tonight? Well, f first of all, let me thank the, the leadership of this region. Um, the IGAD Plus, the TRICA, the United Nations, and the AU, the international community in the region, has been so supportive of us to reach peace in South Sudan. And we should first and foremost thank them. As for the reservation, I want you to underline the word reservation. There should be no reservation in this agreement. It is for our people, and our people have suffered so much in the hands of our leadership uh, in Juba. Uh, this war was actually a senseless war. Our people were celebrating when they became independent in 2011 for freedom. They did not find it under this regime. And all we hope to happen is a smooth and complete implementation of this agreement. All right, Stephen, I'd like to, Stephen, I'd like to um, just interject for a moment. Um, we're hoping that peace will, um, you know, be implemented with this deal. But if Salva Kiir himself was the president, and of course Riek Machar will be the deputy president in this arrangement, if he himself has reservations and believes the deal would, won't last, do you think um, he has the spirit to ensure that it actually will be implemented? You know, uh, I, I want the, the international community in South Sudan to read self akir lips. What he said could be the worst that will actually fail the agreement. Uh, he should not have reservations. He should take the leadership to lead our people to peace. Uh, you cannot sign an agreement in which you don't believe. Uh, all of us must believe in this agreement and we must all implement it. And we want the people of South Sudan who have suffered so much to hone this agreement. Uh, it will take the leadership of both sides uh, to make uh, this peace agreement a success. Indeed, making it a success, that's important. Um, but President Salva Kiir has several times mentioned that he is uh, hesitant about signing a deal with a fractious rebel group. And indeed, we heard reports of uh, divisions amongst the rebels. Some of Machar's commanders saying last week that they would submit fresh demands and saying they are no longer loyal to Riek Machar. Um, what's the status with that? And is that something that could jeopardize this comprehensive peace agreement? Let, let me tell you that we are not fractured. Uh, we had some f two generals uh, with some politicians uh, who have defected from us to the government. That does not make us fractured. The truth on the ground is that this group is isolated politically and militarily. They will have no impact to do anything uh, again, the SPLM, SPLA uh, on the ground in South Sudan. Uh, it is not us alone. Even in the camps of uh, Salfakir, there are uh, anti-peace uh, groups who are even gearing for war as uh, we sign this agreement. Uh, we see this uh, group uh, as uh, anti-peace groups whether they actually, uh, whether they are in, in, in our camps or in their camps. Uh, but uh, let me assure you that the SPLM, SPLA is in control of its area uh -huh. and 
we are not fractured. Okay, all right. So now we know that we need to have a transitional government in place in the next 90 days. Stephen, tell us what happens now. What are the changes we're likely to see even as we set that up and uh, what you hope the path will be towards peace? Well, the agreements that uh, Salfakira signed today and uh, actually signed first by uh, Dr. Yek Meshav, the chairman and commander-in-chief of the SPLM SPLA forces, uh, is very clear. It's, uh, uh, it has everything that can bring peace back to South Sudan. First of all, it has established uh, a transitional government of national unity. Uh, it also has a lot of other good provision for reconciliation, accountability, and institutional reform in the country. So with this, are you hopeful that uh, the 20-month-long conflict will now come to an end and you will be in a position to finally see peace in the world's newest nation? That is what our people are calling for. Uh, the political leadership on both sides must exercise responsibility to bring peace back to the people of South Sudan. All right, thank you very much. Stephen Parkwall, who's a member of the SVLM negotiating team in Addis, speaking to us 